Hi class, welcome to week three of our course. I hope by now you're settling into the rhythm of the course and are finding it to be an interesting and enjoyable part of your week. If you feel as if you're struggling a bit though, I do want to remind you of some of the strategies for success in an online course. So, take a page out of Mark Watney's book, do the math, and then plan. If you were taking this class with me in person, you'd expect to spend around three hours a week in a classroom with me. I'd lecture some of the time, we do group discussions and activities, we might watch a video now and then. However, you would expect to spend roughly three hours in my presence. The same is more or less going to be true for this online course. You should expect to spend around three hours a week doing all of the activities for the class. Some weeks you might have a little less. We have two fairly light weeks coming up as we work through stories of your life and others. So use your time thoughtfully and wisely. If you do have a lighter week, I recommend you try and work ahead a little bit. I recommend that you get ahead with the reading, the movie watching, the longer assignments you have to do. As part of that, you'll want to figure out how to schedule your time. What I strongly recommend you do is plan a couple of blocks a week. They don't need to be long, an hour, half an hour, in which you sit down and do the activities for this course. If you leave it all until the last day, you're going to find it tremendously stressful, miserable, high pressure. So, just as you would with an offline class, choose some times when you'll do your own classes. Give yourself time to really work through the material properly. So, this week we're going to be moving on to our second text which is Te Chiang's Stories of Your Life and Others. I said it's going to be a lighter week, and we're only going to be reading three of the stories. Division by Zero, Liking What You See, a Documentary, and 72 Letters. I've decided not to do Understand, since I know we have some new people joining the class and they may need some time to catch up on the Martian activities. We also are going to be having our first long textual response of the week. So I want to show you where to go and find that on Carmen. So if you'll give me a minute to switch the view over to that, I'll be right back to talk about it. Okay, I'm back and you should see Carmen on the screen in front of you. I've put it in student view, so it should look exactly like what you'll see. To find the prompts for the long assignment, go into Modules. You'll notice that I've put together a new module called Assignments. Under here, you'll see Textual Response 1. If you click on that, that's going to give you all of the topics you want to write about. This is also the place that you'll go to submit the assignment when you're finished it. And notice that it's due on the 18th of September by 11.59 p.m. If you prefer to have a downloadable copy to work with, I've put one right here. To support your doing that assignment, I've opened up a new discussion forum. So under the discussion for syllabus and course policies, you'll see there's a new board with questions about the assignments and activities. So um, if you have any questions about the textual response or about any of the just in-class activities we're doing this week, feel free to go ahead and post them here. I'll be checking this really frequently and getting back to you. You also are welcome to email me, but if you put them here, it'll help other people as well. So that's really all I wanted to say in the introductory video. I hope that you enjoyed Ted Chiang. I think he's such a great, intelligent and thoughtful writer. 
and he's going to give us a lot to think about and discuss. So I'll see you in a little while in the lecture for this week where I'm going to be talking about division by zero. Until then, bye.